Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 10-year-old female who injured her left foot here playing sports. She continued to have pain, so they did an x-ray to see if there's anything wrong, and here are her metatarsal bones. They look good. Her tarsal bones look within normal limits. This is the back of the foot here. It's called the talus and calcaneus here. They look good. The lateral view, side view, look good as well. This is called the calcaneus. This down here is a growth plate in back. It's called an apophysis, and that line is a growth plate. That's just normal for this age. We see here the cuboid bone, navicular bone, and we can see here the metatarsal. So all these bones look good, uh, but they decided to do an MRI just to make sure they weren't missing something. And an MRI, indeed, there were. So this is the cuboid bone, and on this view, anything bright is abnormal. So this is marrow edema within a non-displaced cuboid fracture. So when they're non-displaced, they're very hard to see on x-ray. Sometimes you can't see them at all unless you have just the right alignment to look down the barrel of the fracture line. And on the images they had, you really couldn't quite see it. So this shows it more clearly. Lots of brightness right here in the cuboid bone. We have another view like this where marrow is dark. So this dark area is the marrow edema. And you can see the fracture line here. That linear uh, vertical band there is the fracture line. So we call that an impaction injury with trabecular microfracture, a non-displaced fracture line beneath the articular surface. So rather than continuing on to sports and just dialing it back, they're going to treat her much more aggressively to let this thing heal. And this just shows you that uh, x-ray is excellent for displaced fractures, but if they're not displaced or the view doesn't uh, look at the fracture just right, they can be easily missed and the MRI uh, can uh, show them pretty easily. That's it. Thank you very much.